Use promo code MATCASTER for 5% off your order at Face to Face Games, Canada's largest Magic the Gathering store. Qualified orders get free shipping Canada wide if you use our promo code MATCASTER at checkout. Whether you're buying singles or sealed product, use our code to support the show and get a discount. Welcome back, everyone, to another Magic the Gathering Market Movers, and today is July 3rd, 2023, and as per usual, I wanted to go over the affiliate links in my description. I do have a Dragon Shield affiliate link, as well as a TCG Player affiliate link, and any purchase that you make using those links, I get a small bonus from it, and it really helps support the channel. Now, here are my lovely Patreon supporters. You guys are the reason why I can make content like this on a daily basis, so thank you all very much. With that being said, let's get moving. Starting our loser section off here today with No Mercy from Ursa's Legacy. This card is down 5.63% from $30.03 to $28.34 for its market price, and its average price is $23. Next up here is Elish Norn Grand Cenobite, and this is the Iconic Masters reprint, down 5.78% from $22.48 to $21.18 for its market price, and its average price is $22.48. Anointed Procession from Amonkhet. This card is down 6.44% from $37.55 to $35.13 for its market price, and its average price is $38.83. Commander's Plate here from Commander Legends. This mythic is down 6.89% from $23.80 to $22.16 for its market price, and its average price is $24.85. Windswept Heath here from Khan's Atark here. This fetch land is down 8.15% from $22.71 to $20.86 for its market price, and its average price is $24. Force of Negation here from Modern Horizons. This rare is down 8.27% from $28.29 to $25.95 for its market price, and its average price is $31.54. Phyrexian Crusader here from Mirrored and Besiege. This card is down 9.46% from $13.95 to $12.63 for its market price, and its average price is $13.75. Fourth Aerolingus from Commander Lord of the Rings. This card is down 10.06% from $12.92 to $11.62 for its market price, and its average price is $16.25. Next up here is Wedding Announcement, and it's down 10.64% from $12.87 to $11.50 for its market price, and its average price is $12.87. Toxic Deluge from Double Masters. This card is down 11.88% from $13.81 to $12.17 for its market price, and its average price is $16.62. And now we're going to be taking a look at the biggest winners of the day. And we are going to start that list off here with... Orcish Bowmasters from The Lord of the Rings, and this is the borderless version of the card, up 7.27% from $37 to $39.69 for its market price, and its average price is $45. And the pre-release copy is sitting at $40 for its average price, the regular copy is sitting at $35.09 for its market price, and its average price is $38.26. And this card is being played a ton right now in the modern and legacy format. In Legacy, it's being played in Grixis Tempo decks as well as Painter and Death Shadow, and in Modern, it's being played in Yawgmoth and Rakdos Midrange decks. This card is very popular at the moment, and there's still demand, and the card is continuing to rise in price. And the next winner here is Delighted Halfling, and this is the borderless version of this card from the Lord of the Rings. It's up 9.95% from $17.38 to $19.11 for its market price, and its average price is $24.25. And the pre-release version of this card is currently sitting at $25 for its average price. The regular copy is sitting at $17.72 for its market price, and its average price is $21. And the extended art version of this card from the Collector Booster Packs is sitting at $17.56 for its market price, and its average price is $20. And this card is being played a ton right now in the modern format in 4 to 5 color Omnath decks as well as Yawgmoth, and it's even being played in the Commander format in Frodo Adventures Hobbit decks, who also partners with Sam Loyal Lieutenant and Aragorn the Uniter. The next winner here is Atraxa Grand Unifier, and this is the showcase version of this card from Brexia All Will Be One. This card is up 10.03% from $14.16 to $15.58 for its market price, and its average price is $21.81. 
and the pre-release copy is sitting at $36.32 for its market price, and its average price is the same, and the promo pack version of the card is sitting at $16 for its market price, and its average price is $18, and the regular copy is sitting at $14.65 for its market price, and its average price is $17.86, and this step and complete foil version of the card is sitting at $51.48 for its market price, and its average price is $57.24, and the oil slick raised foil version of the card is sitting at $56.39 for its market price, and its average price is $64.33. And this card is being played a ton in the Pioneer format and attracts a Neo form, 5 color Fires of Invention, and even in the standard format and 4 color Ramp decks, Legacy decks like Reanimator, and even Vintage decks like Oath of Druids. And the next winner on our list today is Nazgul333, and this uncommon is up 10.47% from $13.37 to $14.77 for its market price, and its average price is $15.18. And we've got another Nazgul here, Nazgul335 from The Lord of the Rings. This card is up 12.45% from $13.41 to $15.08 for its market price, and its average price is $16.25. And you have to ask yourself, how high are these cards going to go? They are uncommons, but they are kind of rare compared to other uncommons in the set when it comes to pull rates. But nonetheless, they're in heavy demand, and obviously collectors and players are really enjoying this card. Next up here is Gandalf the White from The Lord of the Rings. This mythic is up 14.03% from $10.98 to $12.52 for its market price, and its average price is $13. And the pre-release copy is sitting at $35 for its average price, and the showcase version of the card is sitting at $12.37 for its market price, and its average price is $14.83. And the borderless copy is sitting at $21.09 for its market price, and its average price is $25.16. And this card is being played a ton in the commander format in decks like Aragorn the Uniter, Frodo Adventures Hobbit who also pairs with Sam Loyal Attendant, and even Samwise Gamgee. Next up here is Sauron the Dark Lord, and this is the showcase version of this card from the Lord of the Rings. It's up 20.57% from $8.70 to $10.49 for its market price, and its average price is $14.69, and the pre-release copy is sitting at $33.96 for its average price, and the regular copy is sitting at $14 for its market price, and its average price is $16. And this card is being played a ton in the commander format in decks like Sauron on the White Hand and Sauron Lord of the Rings. Next up is Lotho, Corrupt Sheriff. And this is the extended art version of the card from the Lord of the Rings Collector Booster Packs, up 37.76% from $2.94 to $4.05 for its market price. And its average price is $4.06. And the pre release copy is sitting at $16 for its average price. And the regular copy is sitting at $3.33 for its market price. And its average price is $3.05. And this card is being played mostly in the commander format, and the deck that utilizes this card the most is Frodo Adventurous Hobbit, who also pairs with Sam Loyal Attendant. And our final winner of the day is actually Basalt Monolith from the Commander Lord of the Rings decks. Now this card has been now this card has been reprinted a ton of times. I think this card is just trying to catch up to the other copies of the card available. It's up 119.39% from $0.98 cents to $2.15 for its market price, and its average price is $2.48. And the most recent printing of this card besides this one is the one from Double Master, sitting at $2.92 for its market price, and its average price is $3.40. And you can find this version of the card in the Commander Precon from The Lord of the Rings, The Hosts of Mordor. And it's even being played in the Legacy format right now in Mystic Forge combo decks, and also commander decks like Sar in the Lord of the Rings and Sar in the Dark Lord. And now we're going to be taking a look at the biggest foil winners of the day, and we are going to start that list off here with... Minas Tirith, and this is the borderless version of this foil from the Lord of the Rings. It's up 21.19% from $4.86 to $5.89 for its foil market price, and its average price is $6.48. Aragorn and Arwen Wed in this foil is up 25.05% from $4.55 to $5.69 for its foil market price, and its average price is $5.75. Palantir of Orthanc, and this is the extended art foil from The Lord of the Rings, is up 26% from $62.48 to $78.73 for its foil market price, and its average price is $173.20. City of Brass, and this is the promo version of this foil, up 27.98% from $335.98 to $430 for its foil market price, and its average price is $450. 
Next up here is Stone Cloaker from Planner Chaos. This foils up 31.17% from $4.46 to $5.85 for its foil market price, and its average price is $4.45. Silkbind Fairy from Shadow Moor. This foils up 38.06% from $2.68 to $3.70 for its foil market price, and its average price is $2.81. Historian's Boon from Commander Dominaria United. This card is up 38.50% from $3.61 to $5 for its foil market price, and its average price is $8. Boromir Warden of the Tower, and this is the Borderless Foil from the Lord of the Rings, up 42.73% from $4.47 to $6.38 for its foil market price, and its average price is $6.50. Reprieve from the Lord of the Rings, this foil is up 45.84% from $4.69 to $6.84 for its foil market price, and its average price is $5.51. Darksteel Forge, and this is the original foil from Darksteel at 47.40% from $50.80 to $74.88 for its foil market price, and its average price is $103.63. Thank you all so much for taking time out of your day to watch my Magic the Gathering market movers. It really, really means a lot to me. If you could, could you hit that like button down below so this video does get shared into YouTube's algorithm so I can continue to grow on this platform. Obviously, all the likes and comments that you guys have been leaving have really helped grow my channel, and I'm forever grateful for that. Also, let me know in the comment section below what was your favorite mover of the day, which cards would be most surprised to see on the list, and which cards they actually own that showed up on the list today. I do read every single comment that you guys leave, so please leave them there down below for me to read. Also, I make these videos from Monday to Friday, so I will be back again tomorrow for another Magic the Gathering Market Movers, and until then, please enjoy the rest of your day. Being a patron will help me produce more market movers and add to the funds that I will use for my random buys and also to my coffee fund because I drink a lot of coffee for these videos. And here you can see a link below in the description that will give you all the tiers and what you get in each tier. So I hope you guys click and think about joining. And with that, I'll see you next video. Think about uh, supporting the channel in that way. If not, subscribe, like, leave a comment, and I will see you again in the next video.